So I have this bed that's in the middle. That bed was over next to my porch. So I'm going to do something with that. I haven't decided exactly what. But I will be doing something to it. So um, hopefully um, over the next few weeks, depending on how I'm feeling um, energy wise, um, I will be doing something uh, to that. As well as this other, if not, I might de demolish this other one. But, guys, I can actually sit on my porch now if I want to. Um, I need to clean it off now because of all these leaves. But it actually feels really good. That um, I feel safe on my deck. <laughs> um, it's so much more that um, I need to uh, do just to tidy up. But as you know... You're always tidying up if you garden, and especially if you're in a small space because, I mean, you always got to get ready for the new season. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I guess it's a blessing and a curse. I have uh, trees um, behind my house or on the side of my house, so I have to deal with the leaves. I have to deal with the cottonwood when the season comes back in. Um... But what I can say is that I am so blessed that I can actually, you know, grow uh, something in, um, in a little anything. I'm trying my best not to just collect growing containers. Um, I want to uh, try to keep it to a minimum if possible because I still, I'm still working with a, a limited space. So um, I'm going to show you what I did with the... Um, the containers that was on my porch. I mean, you got a chance to see them as I was uh, pointing things out, but let me show you what I did with them temporarily. So as you can tell, right now I just uh, hooked them to my beds. Um, they're sitting on there, that's the purpose. Um, they can actually sit on the fence, but <laughs> I don't think I want them on the fence. Um, it may do wonders for them. Who knows? We just never know. But right now, I'm sorry uh, having you at the ground. But we got the the barbecue pit in there right now. We had to move a lot of this stuff when it was working on this porch. So um, that stuff will come out. I will not have all that junk cluttered up in there. Um, I cried for my husband to get all that stuff together. But yeah, so they fit perfectly on my raised uh, elevated garden bed. And I'm pretty sure that if you had the um, the um, ground level uh, raised elevated garden bed, they would fit really nice around there as well. So I did buy them from Ollie's um, here in my area. I don't know if you have one in your area. And that's O-L-L-I-E-S. Um, it's like a bargain outlet. This little bed here that I had the sunflowers in, I'm going to probably just assemble that one and um use the wood for something else um i don't know what yet but i'm not you know me i'm not gonna let anything go to waste um i still will be finishing up this area right here um there's only one step i really need to do just haven't done it my welcome mat i need to get that back on the porch down there i have some four by fours um that i'm planning now, this is my goal. I don't, I don't know when it's going to happen. <laughs> um, I'm planning on using all those uh, stumps of 4 by 4s um, Most of them are already evenly uh, cut. I'm going to try my best, depending on how many I have. I am going to make a um, elevated, not really an elevated, but a kind of a, a deck. And that deck would consist of uh, being able to hold my uh, patio table right here this my table will not stay on the porch I do have a smaller table um, in the back next to my water tank <sighs> excuse me it's like a more of an end table but it's, it's for the outside I'm going to use that um, in the days to come but um, I might have to strategically one by one or two by two and buy me a few um, boards so I can actually go ahead on and put that um, little deck. Now the deck, 
it's going to go pretty much on that end where the fence at. And I'm just going to take it or take it across. <sighs> it will not be a super big deck. It's just be, it's just going to be big enough for the um, patio table. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, my catchment system, uh, I'm going to pray that between now and the springtime um, that we get some good rain here. Um, it did fill up to maybe a little over a fourth of the way. But um, I will be draining that water out. I want to try to take it to the big car wash and rinse it off really really good put it back and that's all um in the, in the time of before the winter i mean before the spring uh come in good that's my goal um because i do I, now i know that the system is set up pretty much where it can collect water now the goal is for it to rain enough for me to collect the water um the trash cans, um, they didn't do what I wanted them to do. I mean, I probably can tweak it some more. I do like that concept. But I might just go ahead on and do something different with them. And I haven't I haven't made up my mind yet, but I'm thinking I might I might go ahead and like strategically put them in an area. And just go ahead and compost in them in play. I mean, I've never composted, but I have three black trash cans that, for my um, square footage that I'm using, should um, should help out a lot with composting. Now, I'm not going to promise you I'm when I'm going to start, but that is going to probably be an idea because I don't want them just sitting there taking up space. I'd rather them be in use. Therefore, I'm probably going to put them in the back. Um, not too far from the water tank. I, I, they, they won't be inside the gate. And, um, yeah, because you know I'm scared of things. So I don't need them crawling out of there. But, yes, that's what's going on with me. That's what's going on with the garden. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope you're having a blessed time. If you're doing anything um, new this winter or uh, the spring, leave it in a comment. You know, maybe we can keep up with each other on what's going on next. Um, have you grew anything so far that you feel like it's just a waste of your time and that you're not considering, um, regrowing it? Um, it's not a fact if you like it or not, but did it benefit, um, your purpose of growing it? For me, I will say I'm really, 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 really kind of finish I think I'm going to shy away from doing my corn I mean as much as I would love to see a good harvest of corn I'm not certain so don't quote me on it but right now I don't think corn would be on my agenda <laughs> for the summer if it is that means I will have an adequate uh, space for it um, water set up uh, that mean I've collected enough water to, to, to just be able to help it out a lot. Um, what else? Mm, so far, really everything that I've grown, I've eaten. Now, borage is new for me um, to grow. I have to find the use of that. Um, I know it's beneficial in the garden. I just have to remember what it's for because I kind of put it in a couple of places. And... I'm not, I, I think I don't need that much. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> um, I think that the zinnias, I love the zinnias. I love the way that they bloom. I love the, ooh, they're, they can get prolific. But um, I think I need to not put her in my 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 beds <laughs> i don't think so because they they take up a lot of space you know they get this one don't want to die i mean it's it's been blooming since i put it there and this one i relocated in there so it's good i did collect some seeds from it and some marigolds that i have so i will be rep uh, replanting those again i did like them um so 
Um, those are my favorite flowers so far. Um, I do have some more perennials that um, I'm going to try to do. I'm just debating if I'm going to be lazy about it and just cascade them over there in those front beds without de-weeding. I don't know. That's kind of really lazy, but I don't know. So, what are your things? What are your thoughts? What are you going to do with flowers? Which flowers are you going to grow this year or next year? Um, is it some flowers that you're thinking about growing that you haven't grew? Um, and like I said, for me, I have a couple of them. I really do have a lot of perennials that I do want to grow. Um, is is now it's like, okay, where do I want to grow them? How do I want to grow them? Because even um, with flowers, just like your vegetables and your fruits, you still have to kind of keep everything nice and neat. And I got to figure it out. I need the like the low maintenance flowers with something that give you a good pop of color that you just didn't plant anything. You know, I don't want to look like that. But, yeah, I, I, I like that. And, again... I'm always going to plant my greens. I love my greens. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Now, as I... Was that a green? Did I cut that? thought I left a leaf on there. But anyway, now, this year was my first year growing turnip greens. And I would actually tell you that... And I think I read something about that. I'm not sure. Excuse me. But... I didn't have out of all my greens those the one green one greens that I didn't get pest problems with I didn't have no holes in them no nothing and which is good and I love I love turn of greens so that is one that I think that um I probably would grow more of um because I like that they they was pretty they pretty pest tolerant at least here um and by my house i don't know i can't speak like i said i can't speak for someone else's experience but for me that was they was pretty good and um of course the um the swiss chard is growing it's growing fast once it catches is is good um spinach is always slow so i'm hoping that sucker go ahead and take off because I planted more spinach this year than I did last year because I really want some spinach. I keep hearing stuff, guys. And my allergies are still bothering me, so I'm going to sound like a pig <laughs> until something changes. But, um, yes. Yeah, so, anyway, my 2020 and gardening, it's been interesting. I've learned some things. Um... I learned some things that I just didn't want to do. I just learned some things that I just don't want to do anymore. Um, and just revamping everything. You know, again, I said earlier that as a gardener, you end up starting out one way and then you, you end up doing it a different way. And that's where I'm at right now with... Um, with my space, I mean, <clears throat> I wish in so many ways that it was uh, a much bigger space. Not to have more beds, but to be able to maneuver a lot better. And maybe if I take that little deck off, um, maybe it would be more space. I don't know. But I really want that whole entire space, not necessarily concrete it or cement it, but I really want like all that grass in there to be gone. That's on the ground. I don't want that grass <laughs> in there, but I'm thankful that I have some grass because some people don't have grass. But, um, and, and, and that, that is not more because I'm scared of bugs. I mean, yes, I'm scared of bugs. And it would help a little bit, but I just want to be able to um, widen my walkway, uh, be able to redesign it 
a little different um and i still can i just have to decide on um what i'm going to do with that that particular that makeshift deck i know originally it was for like my patio table but i think it's not that i think i know that is one of my projects that i will be working on sometime in the future but um when the price of lumber go down <laughs> i can probably get to some of those projects but when you're using wood it's, it's not um easy said easy done but i do have a uh, what i would consider a possible solution i'm not gonna say it's cheap but um i can actually um create more space in the space that I have if I do those particular projects that I've been wanting to do um, I just have to wait again until the price of lumber go down so I can get the uh, materials that I need to get uh, to do them and they're not projects that will take forever but it's just I work so I can't be all day doing that I'm a wife my husband have wants and needs that need to be taken care of for us just doing things you know um, around the house that we partner and do with um, as a husband and wife team, as well as you know, I work with the little my little twins um, every day, as well as um, when my grandbabies them come over, um, I have them. So I barely, I don't really. My off time is time that I try to do something in the garden. So almost every single waking moment of my life is consists of something for someone um and what i have available is what i do for myself and my gardening is what i do for myself as well as it contributes to my house but um and i'm not complaining because you know some people wish they can have that you know um void field in their life where they're not just by themselves or don't have anyone in their life to even see after um but I just feel like it's not enough time in the day, you guys, to do all the things that I personally want to do. You know, yes, I'm truly an empty nester, um, but as a parent, you never not be a parent. Um, or if you're a grandmother, you know, and allow, allow you to stay here, you're a grandmother, you know. Uh, I'm a wife, and I love being a wife to my husband. Um, it's just making time and right now we don't have like a hundred hours in a day because your body needs rest you know and I like a lot of other things I love gardening but I love watching my TV <laughs> I like doing my crossword puzzles I like reading my books I like doing my crocheting that I had started a couple years ago that I kind of put to the side um, I'm a big kid at heart, so I still like coloring and just doing a lot of different things. I'm not, um, when I was in my early 20s, yeah, I was big on always remodeling and decorating my house, and that's just not me now. <laughs> um, I don't want to, I mean, when you get to a certain age, I'm sorry, you don't want to find yourself collecting extra things. Or buying unnecessary stuff you know you use what you have and, and, and you maneuver with it that's just what I do you know but um, I didn't take this video to a whole different level guys <laughs> I didn't mean to do that but um, yeah so um, I just hope you guys you know are having a wonderful holidays and I know I've said it but because I made this video so long I'm going to probably cut and paste. By the time you see this part, I probably didn't chop it up <laughs> um, to more than one segment at least. But, let me fire truck is out here. Oh, shoot. Something is going on. <clears throat> um, but, yeah. So, anyway, have a good day, guys. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe my channel. Um, leave comments. Leave suggestions. Um hey you know 
hit that notification bell so I can uh, so you can always know when I put up a new video and I'm gonna get off of here because I've been on here too long the sun is starting to set just that fast have a good day